Hey. <laughs> What's up? Hello, everyone. How's it going? How, how's it going, everybody? You've done so much grinding! Definitely! Only a little bit. And it was a disaster, but I'll get into that in a second. Let me... Let me say hi to everyone. <laughs> hi Zas, hi North German, hi Zero. How's it going everyone? Welcome in. Sorry I didn't stream yesterday. Some plans came up and so I wasn't able to. Um, but I'm here today and somehow it feels like I've completely forgotten how to stream. <laughs> Why do I feel so awkward? It feels like... Like I've never streamed a day before in my life. What happened? <laughs> oh, what, 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 what happened? Man, we forgot how to watch you. Uh, oh, is that, is that it? Is that the solution to the mystery? Oh my god. So it was a disaster the other day. It was yesterday, actually yesterday. Who is all the, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yesterday, I I go to stream, right? No, I don't go to stream. What am I trying to say? Start the story correct, Kimi. What the fuck? Okay, so yesterday, sometime midday, because I was planning on streaming yesterday before the sudden plans came up, and then I couldn't because the sudden plans came up, but anyways, yesterday I was like, I'm going to grind for the Yiga clan armor because I forgot to since the last time I streamed this game I don't know sometime last week I don't actually remember the last time I streamed it it was probably a while ago um anyways and I remember going like I want to get this off stream because I don't know where all the locations are and I'm just gonna look it up and then follow the tips to figure out what to do instead of figuring it out on stream and so, I, I, I do, I look it up, and I, I go to start, I, I start up the game, I look it up, I know where to go, and then immediately I tip my water over, and it spills all over my desk, like, all over my desk, and I have a lot of electronics on my desk, um, I had a lot of papers, uh, I have a few keychains, a few stands, uh, just because I just don't have enough places to put all my merch, so I just kind of put it around my desk. Um, and I had some, like, documents for school and whatnot on my desk, just kind of chilling there, and then, like, my iPad, and then, of course, my capture card, my GameCube still on my desk. Um... And I spilled water all over my desk. This is like a full glass of water all over my desk. Rip the other GameCube controller. So I'm freaking out. There's all these electronics on my desk, right? And the water like pinpoints grow straight towards my capture card. It like, it has a mind of its own, right? And the water just zooms towards the capture card. It's like, I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna fuck this up. <laughs> Desk is usually safe because my keyboard always takes the hit. Oh, that's rough. My keyboard actually didn't get any water on it. Um, my, my dust mat got pretty soaked, but it's a dust mat. It's fine now. So I'm freaking out and I'm like grabbing the super wet stuff, throwing them in front of fans, you know? I don't really know what else to do with it. I'm like, I am grabbing all the electronics in sight and, like, moving them, just getting everything out of the blast zone. And then I go to check my capture card, and I swear to God, it got water on it. And I was like, there's no fucking way it did it. But it was completely dry. <laughs> I have no idea how my capture card was completely fine. The GameCube got a little wet. I didn't test to make sure that it works, but to be honest, I don't know if that thing will even work, even if it didn't get water on it. Um, uh, but it didn't look like water got inside of it, just water got on the bottom of it. Uh, all my documents are just completely soaked. Yeah. I was freaking out so badly. 
Can't spill water if you always forget to hydrate. Zero, go drink some water right now. You don't have a choice. Also, like, aren't you sick? You better be fucking hydrating or I'm gonna come over there and curb gun you. The GameCube didn't work anyway. Yeah, I, I don't think it's, like, a big loss, to be honest. And thankfully, it, like, the water wasn't anywhere near my power strip or anything like that, so that's good. I would have freaked out if my computer got messed up. Oh my god. Too sick, bed comfy. No, you fucking grab water right fucking now, and you drink it. You chug it, actually. And you better stay hydrated. So yeah, that was, like, my huge freak out yesterday. Um... Other than that, I don't know. Nothing, nothing has really happened. I haven't really done anything. I mean, I fed TikTok again. That was nice. I'm sure TikTok's happy. And I fed YouTube too, I guess. Um, I'm trying to think. No, there's been nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. My, my life has been boring. <laughs> Just studying and playing games. <laughs> That's been my life lately. So you have a thick blanket. So it's warm and hot and dehydrating. Please drink water. I have the thinnest blanket ever. Please just drink water. Please for me. For me or I'm ending stream right now. <laughs> so you went to the Breath of the Wild Yiga hideout. And the guy said they have a camp on the Great Plateau. Do you found the map to the other location there? There's a map to the other location. I literally just looked it up. I just looked up Yiga outfit locations in Tears of the Kingdom. All the locations have a map. I didn't know that. I just beeline straight to where the outfits were, and then I left, and then I went to the next location. Like, the guide gave coordinates and all. You did Yiga stealth missions without us. They weren't stealth missions. You literally walk up to there, fight two guys. One big, one of the big, strong, muscular guys, and then one of the small, fast guys. That's it. It's every location. It's the same thing. You just fight those two and then you just go grab the armor and go to the next one. It's really not that interesting. And strip them. You don't strip them. You grab armor from a tailor that they had kidnapped. And that's it. Did you get wind cleavers? I think I stole one. I just got a long blade. So it's a wind razor, I guess. Um, other than that, I did get some shines, so now I have two full wheels of stamina. That's it. That's, that's it. That's, that's all I did. So I was thinking, okay, we're gonna finish that side quest we were doing. Or I guess main quest, you know, the dragon's tears right here. We're gonna finish that because I'm really close to there. This is just where I ended up. This was the last shine that I went to. When trying to get stuff. I got a few towers. Not all of them. I'm not going to bother with that. <laughs> and then we're going to get this. And then we're going to go to the Yuga clan. And see what that's about. Because I'm really curious. I don't actually know what it's about. I'm just really curious. And I knew that you needed to get the full outfit for that. So that's what I did. Now that Koga is dead. You're going to take over? Sure. Why not? Did you upgrade any armor? Fuck no. You think I have money? Actually. Funny story. I have... Oh, I gotta move chat. One sec. Chat, where are you? What did you burn? Hi, Mal. Welcome in. Oh, the smell? I was boiling water. I was boiling water to, um, to put down the bathroom sink drain, because it wasn't draining very well, the sink drain. So I was boiling water, but then I wasn't paying attention, and it boiled over, and then, like, it got on the grates, you know, the water, it boiled over and got on the grates, and then, like, made a really smoky smell. Honestly, it's probably because I just don't clean the grates very well. <laughs> you burned water? Well, yeah, okay, what about it? <laughs> That's why I can't drink any water and you burned it all. That's not fucking true. And it was at 420 rupees. Hmm. 
No, it's just because the water got on the grates and then it was smoking up and then now, now there's a smoky smell. Honestly, I probably should have just opened the window in the kitchen, but I didn't feel like it because the window is super out of the way. So yeah, that's that. I don't know if it fixed the sink, to be honest. I didn't really notice any issues with the sink, though, so maybe it did. What do you mean shaking my head? You're the one who told me to do that! <laughs> You're the one who told me that I should boil some water and throw it down the drain! What the hell? Plumber lead, I can't pretend like I'm a plumber because I don't know shit about plumbing, but I tried my best, you know? I never told you to burn water! Yeah, but you didn't tell me to pay attention to it either. So really, this is your fault. Do I really have to go over there? I can't swim that far, can I? No, only have enemies in the water. Okay, fine, I'll go around. God damn it. Super chameleon. I'm super... I'm super awesome. Like, seriously, you, you come home and you yell at me for burning water. Where's the... Thanks for taking out the trash. Even though there's a spider living in the in the trash bin and it's scary and you're scared of it, thanks for taking that out. No, none of that. And just just how dare you burn water? <laughs> Swim, Revali scale. No, I don't have a Revali scale. Ice arrow. Can ice arrow freeze water? Why are you breaking? Most years. There's gotta be. Yes. Oh my god, you're right. Okay, it's time. Then stick the ice to a weapon. Why would I do that? Okay. I don't think I can. Bitch, let me- Oh, it's melting. Okay. I can't. It's melting. It's too warm. Waters are too tropical. You bitch. Alright, where's my swimsuit? Grab some fish on the way. Why can't I grab these fish? Good sign. See, I'm close to the... I, c I can stand up in this water and then stand up. It's not that deep. Like, you can stand up here. Oh god, am I gonna make it? I hope so. If I'm not gonna make it, I'm gonna cry. If Link drowns in this super shallow water, I'm gonna cry. You cook stamina food, right? I do have some, yeah. Okay, he made it. Thank goodness. I'm taking out my swimsuit. This is not coordinated at all. I look so bad. Okay. Yeah, go off, start fighting or whatever. Am I going there? Right? Yeah. Why can't we just swim on Sedon? Because Sedon's just a ghost. Easy, now do it again, okay. I bet this is a Korok. How did I know? I just have a sixth sense for this thing. Bye. Alright. No. Time to go on the shrine! Let's go. Had to put a Korok right in your path so that you could find it. 
don't I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Alright. Turbine power. We need to talk to Hestu. I don't feel like it. Um, there was a shine though. It was kind of fun. I was playing Jenga. So I'm really bad at Jenga. Interesting. What is this? It spins. You? I'm guessing will spin too if I put it on here. <laughs> Why does it look so funny? Okay, I know what I have to do. I figured it out. Stay. And then cause metal is conductive, we just boop. And then it boops. Right? And then I... I, I, I boop? All the way up here. Uh... I... Oh, there's a treasure chest there. Okay, I was like, let's grab one of these. Or maybe all of these. I don't know if I need them. To be honest, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Well, let's just drop them all. There was another shine that was pretty fun too. Um, it was called like the hunt, and basically, I guess there are these like contraptions that just target enemies. Are you kidding me? How are you supposed to get that? I don't know. There we go. Not terrifying. What a marvelous contraption. It's terrifying. I love it. <laughs> um, anyways. I guess there are these contraptions that like auto hunt down enemies and basically it was just sticking a bunch of enemy or er, weapons to those and then watching them slowly kill the enemies. It was very delightful. I had a great time. I think it was literally called, like, The Hunt. <laughs> it was a lot of fun! Alright, anyways, let's grab this tier. Are those pirates? Hang on. Are those pirates? Oh, no. I don't feel like dealing with them. Where are they? Oh. Anyways! Memory, let's go! Where's the labyrinths? I know they're there. I haven't gone in any of them. It's sad, isn't it? I don't know. Probably. Why not? I don't know. I've been distracted. Is that the sword that seals the darkness? 
The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. I don't remember hearing that. This is more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon. Ooh. Blessed with eternal life. Because you didn't visit Korok for us. Oops! My bad. Minoru, I'm counting on you. More! There's the gotta be a better me. way. I will care for it until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. I can just glue together some sticks. You don't gotta do this. Oh, she can't hear me. To become an immortal dragon is. To lose oneself. Dragons are cool though, but she'll lose herself. <laughs> the scene is very beautiful though, I'm not gonna lie. True, true it is. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Did she like talk to them? Did she be like, "Peace out. I'm gonna go dragon now." Oh God! I forgot I was wearing this. I'm sorry. Oh. That's not very emotional of me. Hang on. I just noticed all these silent princesses. All the silent princess flowers, there's so many of them. Damn. Do I grab them or do I leave them? 
I'm emotional. I'm gonna leave them. They're gonna stay right there. Um, I don't feel like taking them. That feels kind of rude. The game still wants you to do Korok Forest, actually. Okay, first, we need to go to the Yiga hideout so I can take off these stupid clothes. <laughs> We're gonna go to the Yiga hideout so I can take out those sewer clothes. Um, where was it again? It was over here, right? It was near here, wasn't it? Yeah! Okay. Wait. I'll mark it. Red. Alright. Get the tower! No, I have to do stuff and I can't figure out what stuff I'm supposed to do. Why do you need to go to the hideout to take off the clothes? Um, because the clothes are on to remind me to go to the hideout. Or I won't give water to Zero. It's on Zero if Zero wants to get water or not. And Zero better. The cave to the tower is right next to it. I looked, I looked for it for like 20 minutes and I couldn't find it, so I gave up. <laughs> I'm not, no. You jumped down, yeah. And it's, do you know how much of a bitch it is to jump back up? There's no vertical movement in this game other than ascend, but ascend only works in some cases. Look over here. Just build a platform to ascend to. It's not how that works. So why would I ascend when I can just easily climb up here? Or there's enemies. Okay, of course there's enemies. Wait, do you think I'm Yiga? No, you still fucking hate me. Of course you do. What if you just didn't jump down? Okay, I'll go look. We're heading in that direction anyways. I'll go look and I'll go not jump down, I guess. Hang on, I guess we gotta wear our climbing clothes. Uh, here. Just change on the side of a cliff. Good idea. <sighs> probably should have waited for my stamina to recover but oh well I'll probably make it hopefully maybe Yeah, I should have grinded out some more shrines so that I could have gotten some more hearts too. I die in like two hits. It's not good. It's not good at all. That's why armor upgrades. I have no money and I have no parts. No money, no parts. I could probably grind out parts. Do I want to? No! I don't want to do any grinding, in fact. Make money in the depths? Hell no. I'm gonna, like, refrain. I think I'm gonna refrain from that. I really don't want to. Make money in the Yiga hideout. <laughs> sure. I'll try that. Hey, where's the dude? Hey. 
Do you know Bo? Hey, you, you! Hey, don't run away from me! Alright, what does this do? Thanks. It's cold! Alright, put on some pants. Yeah, seriously? Fine. Can I, like, get around the mountain? Are you over here? Maybe, 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 what's- Oh, that's all like, like, god oh, damn it. There we go! Alrighty. This way, where's the tower? Alright, I lost the tower. But it should be too alright. Okay, there's the tower. Okay, okay, okay. I found the tower again! It's been unlost. Somehow. Alright, I gotta find a cave. <clears throat> and not jump down the cliff. Like, I always assume I should. Because it just kind of makes sense that the cliff would be underneath it, but I guess not. Sorry. I'll stop being cynical. I'm- 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 I'm gonna stop being cynical starting the second! Cave here? Cave? Cave? No. I saw your ex today. How does that make you feel? What? What? Which? Which one? <laughs> I tend to go on X a lot. <laughs> to what are you referring to? X the app? Like my my Twitter? Like to like like which are you referring to? Which which tweet? <laughs> I never shut up. Twitter, what's that? Okay, sorry, my uh, X. Which X? I don't know. I say a lot of things. I can't own up to every one of them. Uh. Go in the cave. What cave? The wall closest to the tower. All caves. Hell no. There's like 20 million caves in this game and I'm not going to end all of them cause fuck that. Hey, with the intent of hugging Kimmy. Hi Jimmy, welcome in. How's it going? Oh, here? Oh my god, are you kidding me? It was right here? Sorry, I was just trying to grab those wild berries, but that was kind of like my feeling. Paid for all the caves, you should experience all of them. Actually, I didn't buy this game. To it longer, it's gonna be called Capital X? <laughs> really? It'll never get me to call it X. Me either. Heck that. I'll just see stealing this. Thief, thief, lean. Yeah, and what about it? What does this have to say? I don't want to. Ugh, fine. I'm going to keep a record of my time working on the Skyview Tower in the Gerudo Highlands. Day one. We arrived at the site and started construction. Unfortunately, a heavy snowstorm blew in as soon as we started. We had to stop and take shelter in a nearby cave. Oh my god. Good news! The cave is warm and safe! We decided to use it as our base camp for the rest of the project! Day 3. The cave is bigger than any of us could have imagined! We explored inside by following the water downstream. 
And when we were deep in the cave, we heard some hammering. I don't know how a sound that from outside made it that far down. We will investigate tomorrow. Have fun, okay? Thank you. Have a good time. Thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> Day six. Here are some highlights from the cave investigation report. The cave continues all the way under the Skyview Tower. The tower weight may be a problem. We should build a reinforcement in the cave. So it doesn't sing. Day 10. The tower is done. It was a breeze with Pearl's clever design and a skillful pet work from, by Hudson Construction. All of that legwork kept on-site assembly is simple and efficient. Since we may end up using the site again, we decided to leave some materials in the cave. First thing I'll do when I get off this mountain is have a worm full of syrup. <laughs> what kind of handwriting sounds like that? That was, that was Bilson's writing. He had like jazz hands in that done. You don't know how like... <laughs> How vocal I was in my with my body language as I was reading that. Like, I was doing a whole body performance. It was quite wild. I enjoyed it immensely. Anyways. Go on. Fall. Seriously? Have you heard of gravity, bitch? Have you been to your house? No. Like the place that was your house in Breath of the Wild. I don't even remember where that is. I'm gonna be quite honest. I don't remember where it is. No, I haven't been there. Go there. Okay, where is it? It's dead. Go there. Okay, where is it? Also dead. Hateno. I've been to Hateno before, right? I think so. I'm fine. Is it blocked? Oh, I guess I can't go any further, huh? That's where you upgrade the pad. Okay, yeah, yeah, I've been there then. But you didn't go to your house. We'll go there next time. I'll, uh, let me, let me, let me figure out this tower first, okay? Then, then, then we'll go to. How did I cook that in the water? Then we'll go to Hateno, okay? All right, all right, all right. Are you are you calm now, children? <laughs> Did you not read the book? You know about the master cook. <laughs> oh yeah. For real. The book was all about the tower. Yeah, I know. The, the, the cave is under the tower. What did they do to the tower? They sunk it. Oh, sorry. They gave it supports. I guess. Which is here. Okay. Can't you swim up waterfalls? I don't know. Ugh. Okay, I have to go here. Is that another cooked fish? Oh my god. 
Why do they let me play this game? I'm obviously not mature enough for it. <laughs> it's another good fish. Let them cook. I'm sorry. Okay. Is that another cooked fish? No! That can't be a third cooked fish, can it? Holy shit, that's a third cooked fish. Hang on, I need to grab that. I'll take it! That's a very good roast. Let's go, you know, Bo! Hell yeah! Alright. Why the hell not? Alright. <clears throat> I'm in it! Yay! Oh, oh. Oh my. I'm not gonna get buried, am I? I want ice cream! Drink water first. Then you can have ice cream. Ice cream is kind of a liquid. It's not the same. I'm so thirsty for ice cream. That just doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right! A percentage of ice cream is water. Guess what? A percentage of a lot of things is water. How about this? I get some water and ice cream mochi. Do it. That sounds really nice. Actually, I really want some ice cream mochi. It's been a minute. I want ice cream mochi so badly now. Oh my god. I hunger. This way. I want strawberry ice cream mochi. Then get it, but most importantly, go get some water. What do you mean, boo? I'm telling you to stay hydrated. There's nothing. You you don't boo hydration. What the hell? I don't like mark this specifically. There we go. There's another shine over here. Maybe I should go get that. So much water propaganda. I'm telling you to heal. You wouldn't get upset. Wait, what am I trying to say? You would say the same thing if I was sick. But why the hell is it propaganda when it's you? He gets a cup from big water. What the fuck does that even mean? Repeat that back to yourself! <laughs> Never heard of a hypocrite? <laughs> Are you calling yourself out in my Twitch chat? Why would we drink water? <laughs> we know you burn water. It happened once! And I will apparently never live it down. At one time! Bitch. I'm not required to know what I'm saying when I'm sick. That's why I'm telling you to drink water so you can take responsibility for your words. Thanks. Wrong one. Huck. Huck. 
Wowie, I'm amazing. I can't remove them? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, I know how this works because I know science. To get one of those metal barrels outside. What? Why? Oh. The bonk barrel? Return of the bonk barrel? God, that's been a minute. Put it on a weapon. Oh, you fuck. That was your chance. No, I needed to navigate through this shrine. I care more about finishing the shrine than I do about putting barrels on my weapons. You can just rewind time, cheese. Nah, I don't feel like it. We don't need it. We have grown past needing bonk barrels. I only like the bonk barrels because... Well... I had nothing else to bonk with. What do you mean, boo? I'll fight you. Oh, I just realized this is at the end. This is where you fought Koga before, right? Oh my god, Sorrow! Again, are you. F Every time I go on my Switch! Okay, I gotta go to the other side. Hang on. How do I leave? Answer Zaro. No! I'm not partying! Zaro's just asking me because she probably thinks it's funny. Can't you talk at the door? I was given no prompts. Zara really wanted to party, Zara would DM me. I have no DMs. It's a prank. It's a prank, bro. Alright, get over here. Gonna beat up Rurito now? No, I'm going to the Yiga hideout. I'm gonna learn a secret technique. Wait, let me wear Yiga clothes before I forget. This is very important. Why does everybody keep trying to distract me from my 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 journey? It's your turn to take on the Molduga army. Not happening. Still scared from the Naboris jump scare. I am not. That was so long ago. I was startled for one second. I'm not scared of Naboris. It's not like Naboris even exists in this game. So I'm fine. Alright. Wait, where are their sh- Where's their hideout? Oh my god, I just went in a circle. I think I need to get lower. If only there was a decent. I feel like you're going in a circle. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm figuring it out. See? See, I'm figuring it out. See, 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 see. Okay. We're all decked out in Yiga. We're Yiga. Okay. Do you think we're Yiga?
All right, come in. See? 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 We've infiltrated. Did you bring bananas? I have... Uh... Yeah, I have one. Hey, I, 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 I'm, I'm you go. Hey, 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 I'm, 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 I'm you go. <laughs> the brand new gear. I heard talk of a potential new member. I take it that's you, bro. I can hardly believe how quickly you managed to visit all three branches, bruh. Mm. Impressive, to say the least, bruh. This hideout is the linchpin of the Yiga Clan subterranean expansion, bruh. It's where we train our members, develop our special vehicles, do whatever else needs doing. You catch my drift, bruh. No <laughs> waggles, eyebrow. That's it for the explanation, brah. You'll figure things out if you keep your eyes open, brah. No, oh, I thought he was gonna get upset, okay. What are, what are you? They're irresistible. Looks <laughs> like so we like resist temptation. <laughs> Where's the Yiga hideout? Be like a frat house, ho! And what are the differences between the Yiga hideout and a frat house? Can you list any differences? Yeah, that's what I thought. Just couldn't resist, could you? You may be young, but I know. But you know, Quality. I should banana man. <laughs> Hang on. I need a minute. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> a true banana man, I see. Why am I so- Oh, you can sell stuff here. I thought, like, bananas would have sold for more. That would have been so iconic. Just here to smell. You're not buying bananas. Then split. <laughs> I need a minute. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, you can just buy weapons. Cool. Can I talk to you? Oh, <laughs> well maintained weapon is assassin's best friend. Uh. And I do like friends. No guarantee they weren't taken off some of our former associates, though. Oh. You done? Then scram. Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> How I love my little spikes. There's something so deliciously dangerous about having them around. Hey, jerk. Anyone ever tell you it's rude to stare? Don't tell me you're here to get some spikes of your very own. I'm spike shopping. I just restocked my spike babies, too. I guess they are they are for sale. So I can't really stop you. And over a hundred rupees now. <laughs> Aw, oh, how cute. You're too scared to embrace the spikes. <gasps> what is this place? Ooh, arrows. No, I'm probably good. Ah, the newbie. Our leader has fallen, and you choose to shop. Alright then. Interest in the bow shows promise. There's no finer option for an assassin. Provided, of course, you aim for the head. Wow. Two things I hate. Someone getting too close to me. And small talk. I don't know what that guy is into. I don't know either. Oh! This was not too bad. It's not too good either. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Alright, let's go deeper into the hideout. Why is it saving? I'm Yiga, I don't need to hide. Ooh, I wanna get in there. Take off the costume for funsies, no. I don't think I will. 
When did I grab this sword? Okay, now I'm really cosplaying. Get in there! Arr, what the fuck is- Okay. Hang on. I don't know how to get in there. What's up? <laughs> Next I'll just mount this tire here. Fix it real tight so it won't come off. Uh? Hey, can you stop? Whoa, you're really close. Can you stop looming? I can't focus if you just stand there all silently. <gasps> hang on, hang on. Can't you see the depths team left in an armored vehicle to fix? Oh. Huh? You're interested in this raging roadster? My fiendish armor clad masterwork? The gloom dredger? I'm interested. Aww. Oh no! I don't have 999 rupees! Word gets around that I stole one some random Yiga member? It'll be so long reputation for me. Okay. Do the hot hand over outside? Not a chance. Uh -huh. Get lost! Waste my time again, I'll mount you to the front of one of the- Oh, oh, okay, I almost went that wrong for a second! Oh, I need to get out of this guy's face! I'm not thinking clearly anymore! <laughs> okay, bye! I don't have the money for that. Looks cool though. Tell me. Between that tasteless groom jet, gloom dreader over there and this hover doom mark three, which do you think is more beautiful? Uh, sure, the hover doom, duh. Oh. <laughs> Easiest question you'll ever answer. This hover doom mark three is a whole different beast from that all show number over there. Simplicity with a dash of recklessness. Now that's how you craft a dangerous weapon. <laughs> how about it? <laughs> you got a dash of recklessness yourself. So I'll sell you one brand new for 99. Wow, they're all just trying to sell me this shit. <laughs> If you don't let it slip that I sold one to some rank and file Yiga member, okay? That leads to some awkward conversations. Could if we do the handover outside? No, I'm not gonna grab it right now because I wanna explore the rest of this place, but I might. Okay. Hang on, let me fix it first. Hey, what's your issue? I'm fixing it. Give you points for being interested in my Hover Doom Mark III, but no touching it without my okay! Oh, come on. Why'd you take it off? I made it better! Screw you. Hey, how do I get in here? Hang on. Am I out of bombs? Oh no, I have some. Okay. You put it backwards. I don't think that makes a difference. Oh, they don't care that I just bombed them. Okay. Wowie. Where does this lean? Oh, 
Is this some secret entrance slash eh? Ooh, Rupee. Wonder where it leads. I guess they link back to the surface. But I have to follow it to know. I hope a Lionel. Why is it always Lionels with you? What is with you and Lionels? <gasps> yes! Zelda, I wish. Sneaky elixir. Thanks. I've literally never used a single sneaky elixir and I probably never will. Awesome. Back to cosplaying. What if Lionel Zelda? I'm not sure what the question is. Can you clarify? Okay. What if Zelda but Lionel? Why? I like to just first inquire why. Why not? Okay, fair. Wait, let's go by the other ladder first. It's so weird just walking through this place without having to be careful. About getting spotted or anything, you know? I can just walk through it like I own the place. Like I'm a member of the Yiga clan or something like that. It's so weird. I'm not robbing this place, I don't know what you're talking about. Too many Hylian Lincoln Zeldas, uh, then you draw it! <laughs> Read the Lightning Helm Journal, sure. The Thunder Helm has been passed down from one Gerudo chief to the next for generations. Though we were briefly able to steal this electric shock repelling helm, it was quickly retaken. We had mistaken their chief's youth for naivete and paid the price for it in turn. Makila Riju is not to be taken lightly. Though our time with the Thunder Helm was brief, we did manage to complete a thorough analysis of it. Finding lightning resistance materials is no small feat, but I suppose that makes sense for the Gerudo Sacred Heirloom. Even with the metals and gems on hand, however, we still cannot seem to replicate the technique used to craft it. I've been struck by lightning more times than I can count. I felt my soul flicker on the boundary between life and death. Why are you getting struck by lightning so much? Just as my body neared its limits, one of our intelligence officers shared some promising news. Well, this is- Wait, are they shocking themselves to test material- Fucking dumbasses! <laughs> well, this guy says a traveler. He hit it off with a fledging tailor and learned about a secret- uh, A special stitching technique. We applied that technique to our own helm, and for the first time it repelled lightning. Our lightning helm was born. Okay. Don't kink shame- I don't think it's kink shaming. I think it's just research. Just as the Gerudo Sacred Heirloom was said to be selective about its users, so too is our lightning helm. Our inconsistent results were not merely technological, but contingent on the helm's compatibility with its user. This makes no sense. Though we had hoped to train someone to wear the helm, the many electric shocks I've suffered have taken their toll. My body is at its end, and my chance to name a successor is long past. Though I could make only one, I leave this world dreaming of the day that a member of our clan dones the lightning helm. And at last brings the royal family of Hyrule to ruin. Well, guess what? The royal family of Hyrule is ruined! We have no successors! The entire royal line is gone! You did it, Yiga! Are you happy? They are. Are they? Happily eating their bananas, of course. Oh, hey. Okay. 
Link must fall! Oh. You're the newcomer, huh? This is where we train. Zelda's disappearance robbed Hyrule of its spirit, which gives us the perfect opportunity to bring it to its knees. The only problem is your stubborn little appointed swordsman, Link. We've received reports that he still lives. Oh, wow. I wonder about how tall he is and what color his hair is. I hate to admit it, but he's a formidable foe. We'll need to hone our skills if we hope to take him down. If you value your life, then you should do some training yourself. Prove you've got what it takes. You might even earn our precious lightning helm. Oh my. It's our sacred treasure, completely resistant to electricity. But because it's such a powerful piece of armor, it can only be handled by those who have been properly trained. We train by sparring with our fellow Yiga. We set a timer and the combatants just keep coming. You'll earn better and better prizes based on the number of opponents you be defeat. No, not a gauntlet. Are you fucking kidding me? Sold the lightning helm again? No, they made their own. Let's see. If we really want to measure your strength, show me you can defeat three combatants in under a minute. Training fee is typically 100 rupees. Since you're new to this, I suppose your first round can be free. I know that you should take this challenge. There's no that should you take this challenge, there's no turning back. You must fight until the time limit or your life expires. Uh, bring it on. I like your spirit. Let's start training. All hands prepare for combat. Attack the newcomer as if you were Lincoln himself or Master Koga. This is still stealthing. I'm not really sure how this is stealth. <laughs> I'll take that arrow. You're you're in you're in disguise. True enough. That's part of stealth. True. Are you gonna heal me? Hmm. Yeah, hello, I found Ben. Welcome in. How's it going? I'm impressed you're still standing. You defeated three of our fighters just as I hope you would. Not bad for a newcomer, I suppose. Take this, you've earned it. Yiga fabric. Why would I want that? Oh, to make a paraglider. Watching your fight, it seems you could take down six Yiga members oh. next. If you want to train again, let me know. Don't forget the 100 rupees. I don't have the money to do this. I'm gonna spend my money on this. Heck this. I don't need it. For you. Make a Yiga paraglider. Oh my dude, why? Only three? Do it! Fine! You know, you look an awful lot like Master Koga's ar arch enemy, Link. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. At least your hair does. Our clan's whole thing is being mysterious and monolithic, and buddy, you stand out. As long as you can earn your keep, I suppose I can ignore the Link look. We are really short of hands. Anyway, hurry on it! They didn't heal me. My HP low! Where is the ladder again? Oh, here, here. Well, I guess I do have those fish. I can eat. Don't get hit. I'm not very good at that. I have these fish I can eat. <laughs> dodge roll. So dodge roll. There's jumping. Okay. The line is our earth awake technique capable of Use of which marks you as a true member of the Yiga clan. Of course, to prove yourself worthy of such a prize, you have to defeat six combatants. Think you're up for it. Yes! Bring it on! I don't think I've seen you flurry much in this game. I've definitely done it a few times. I like your spirit. Let's start with training. Alright. Good 
get down here. <laughs> There we go. Yippee! Ah. Enon! Mm. Did it against you, Nova, when you didn't want to. I remember that. Yeah, yeah! Ah, another target snap. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Impressive! Clearly, you got some real promise. Well done. You've shown you're worthy to learn our secret technique. Accept this teaching with an attentive mind and ready heart. Earthware manual. An esoteric manual that reveals the secret of the earthquake technique known only to Yigo Blade Master. It's a move that involves executing a charge attack with no weapons. At this point, though no member of the Yiga clan has done so before, I believe you could take on nine combatants. If you want to train again, let me know. Don't forget the 100 rupees. How do I use it? How do I use it? Charge attack with no weapons. Unequip weapon. Oh, oh, that's cool! I like it! Okay, let's eat something and then we'll try it again. Oh. The more you train, the more you nourish your mind and body. It's always a good idea to sharpen your skills. Meh? What do you mean, meh? Wait, I missed it! It's too late. It's gone forever. I'll probably never use it! <laughs> Prove worthy of our sacred treasure, the Lightning Helm. Tremendously powerful piece of armor, only those who have gone through sufficient training can handle it. Give me yours if you can defeat an unprecedented nine combatants in time. Think you're up to the task? Alright, there will be no quitting until the challenge is done. Bring it on, I like your spirit! Oh. Let's start the training. All hands, oh. prepare for combat. Attack the newcomer, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Hang on, I need a new weapon. Why is that they just appear in front of me? I did it! Oh. Enough! Many capable fighters have trained in this arena, but you're the first to defeat nine of your peers. They're sneaking right in front of you. <laughs> if you're this talented, you might even be a match for the nefarious swordsman Link. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're clearly more gifted than I dared imagine. Come now, retrieve our sacred treasure. Yay. Oh. Be ever diligent in your training. For Link, Sophia, and for the honor of Master Koga alike. Okay, yay, we did it! Okay, I'll show you again. Here, are you watching? I can show you. This is the technique. It's kind of cool. I'll probably uh, never remember that I have it. Can you control it? Oh, let's get on the ground. No. I can just control when it shoots up. Wait, was that just Link's face? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Well, I was an anime girl at first. If you have time to laze up out here, then you have time to help! Wait, so I don't have enough supplies for our bases in the depths! The mouth? 
is the dress and limbs. That link to a great havoc at the branches and interrupted our supply of food materials. Meanwhile, the folks down at the depths are all running around trying to get things back in order. Ugh, I'm supposed to be in ancient old combat and destruction. Why am I stuck doing this? Some fools keep yammering on about how Master Koga has fallen. But Master Koga is indestructible. That's why I'm gonna do everything I can to perfect to protect the Yuga clan until he's back. Hug, it never ends! How many times must I go back and forth between the depths and the surface? I'm asking the same question, dude. Between this, that, and the other thing? All this is Link's fault! <laughs> Who's Link? You're kidding, right? Link is so disappointed swordsman. He's always getting out of our way every chance he gets. The guy's a real pain. Not for long, the Yiga is tightening its net all over Hyrule. I'm sure we'll hear news of his death any day now. <laughs> <laughs> He'll never expect that we're disguising ourselves as trees to <laughs> what, We're what? Disguising ourselves as trees to ambush him? He's done for. Oh, they're... They're so funny. Mm. You the new guy they're all talking about? You've got a reputation for being the chosen user of the lightning helm. Nobody else can handle that thing. Wear it everywhere you go and show off its power as much as you can to honor our great Master Koga. Rumors are swirling that Master Koga was defeated by Link. Impossible! Do not concern yourself with these lies, but redouble your devotion. The Yiga or what? Oh, does this lead to outside? Can I get outside and do that? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yay! I wonder what's down here. This is our Koga fell, isn't it? I haven't been here. I'm kind of curious. There's trees in a few places that transform into Yiga. I think I ran into one of those, although I wasn't really paying attention, but the Yiga, like, popped up out of nowhere, and I was like, what the heck? Alrighty, and where is this? Oh, is this just in the middle of nowhere? Make a hoverboard. No. Is there anything I should care about? Oh. Not really. Some bananas. Not a lame. All right, time to leave. Wow, I you can tell I don't enjoy being down here. <laughs> All right, is it Korok Forest time? Oh yeah, I said I would do that, huh? Oh. Where is the best way to go for the Korok Forest? Here, maybe. This looks like an entrance, maybe. Oh, it's a great fairy fountain. I can grab spot two. I'll grab spot two. And then head north. I don't like how they've been put- they put shrines so far away from stables in this game. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I guess while we're at it, let's go collect our pony point stuff because I've been neglecting that for a while. Receive reward. Ah, ah yes, I'll be right with you. Why do you say that when you just need to take two steps? 
Like to get your- yeah, 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 yeah. For seven points, you unlock the Melania bed. Sleep in the Melania bed. Not only will you wake up more energized, Melania, the horse god, may also share a mystical message. Very popular choice among our customers. Okay, so... That's weird, but okay. Now to continue, as a reward for 10 points, you can now register an additional horse. I had a limit? You see a horse out there you'd like to make yours? Please bring it to us. Save just three more points. You'll get a traveler's saddle and a traveler's bridle. Br bridle? Bridle? For your horse. Okay. I just want to take spot two. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Take horse. Spot two. Yeah. Can you make a new glider? I think I have to go to Hanteno. Actually, wait, where do I go? Is that Hanteno? Or Kakar- I don't remember. Remove harness. I don't need it. Yeah, 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 I don't really care. Okay. Spot! Oh god, I was like, did Spot already run away? Wait, hang on, I saw some mushrooms. We're gonna put Spot 2 in a stable. Now he roams without landing. You just left him? You abandoned him? Oh god, I forgot. Spot just still fucking hates me. Spot just doesn't- Spot 2 doesn't even want to listen to me. Oh god, Spot! Let's go up here! Spot 2! Change at Dye Shop. Is Dye Shop in Hateno Mino remember? Alright, can we go a little faster? It's because we keep making him try to eat bears. I'm sorry, I expect every horse to be like Appena. Hey, die shop in Hateno where Link's house is. Okay, we'll go to Hateno after the Korok Forest. Somebody remind me. Because I think I said we would go to Hateno after... After Yiga hideout. But I forgot. I need... You know what? I know what Spot's problem is. I'm wearing Yiga clothes. Hang on. Wait, sorry. See? I'm just a normal vampire. It's fine. You can trust me. Be naked instead. No, I don't feel like it. Spot just hates me. I'm like spamming pet. I'm like, Spot, please. Spot too, please listen to me. Please. Okay, I think, I think Spot 2 is good. Isn't veering off course wildly or anything like that anymore. That's, that seems like a good sign. Um, I guess let's just keep going, follow this path. Just run past the goo. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Okay, just jump over the tree. Like a weirdo. I mean, Spot, too. You're, you're so precious, uh... Girl? That's a tree. Flying pass instead of making your own, shaking in my head. Spot 2 isn't really good at, uh, making their own pass. So, I am just going to follow this one. Okay. That was quick. Um, I don't think Spot 2 likes it in here. I don't think I like it in here! Oh! Okay! Look at my ghost friends fit right in! What the fuck? Immediately?! What the hell am I supposed to be doing then? Huh? Don't just look around, Link, help me out! Be speed. Alright, I gotta run. Oh, I'll escape the fog! I'll escape it! Ah! Is it because I'm a vampire? Oh 
Okay. You're a vampire, there's so much sunlight. Oh yeah, there's there's a lot of sunlight in here. What what is going on? I don't know how I'm supposed to get through here. It looks like I have a time limit. There's an ability that helps you get through. Am I literally supposed to zoom through? An ability. So no one... Protect me. Oh. We should find them. Time to burn this place down, you know, Bo? You know, Bo. You know, Bo, get over here. We're burning the forest down. It's not auto build. Okay, so like one of these. I said, no. Rewind. No. Fuse? No. Picture? <laughs> Maybe a sun? I don't know, I guess I'll try. Oh. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's a send. <gasps> uh huh? You finished, Garuno? No! I just got through the Yiga hideout! Have you checked what it looks like underneath in the depths? No, of fucking course I haven't. That would require going into the depths! I don't want to do that! You, you can't make me. Okay, I have no idea. You don't belong here then. Oh, okay. I'll come back later. Bye, spot two. Alright, time to go to Hatano. Okie dokie. Okay, we're gonna go see the dye shop and Link's house, right? Wrong one. This one. Get me out of here. There we go. Oh, I didn't get that shot. Uh, you can tell I haven't been to the city proper. I don't want to backseat. I don't have issues with backseating. In fact, I encourage backseating. But it's fine. It can wait. I can just come back later. Let's get in here. Light.
Wait, you never did that shot. I never went to the city proper. I was just grabbing the upgrade for the Pura Pad, and then I literally left. And that was it. Scoop it out! Okay... What am I scooping out? Why does the princess hate her... I don't hate her to know. Why not just... You know? You know? I love this one. What? Okay. Did I get it? Did I scoop it out? I scooped it out! Why are you crying? I did it! I ever think I broke off these hit yeah. Get the balls to the wheel too. Oh. <laughs> What, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> I bet there's like a chest underneath all those balls, isn't there? I don't feel like going back down there. Good scooping. Thank you! I actually made a scoop. <laughs> we need the chest, no we don't. <laughs> oh. I mean, I was going for making a scoop, but then as I was making it, I realized I don't know how to make a scoop, so I just shoved it in there. Miss the chest, that's alright, we don't need the chest. Mr. Nintendo just called me, just texted me, and said, You don't actually need that chest, we just put it in there for the lol, sorry. <laughs> Sora, DM me, let's go Barbie, let's go party! <laughs> What's not happening? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, right, let's go to the dye shop. <laughs> Why do all the tailors- Why are all the tailors suddenly obsessed with mushrooms in this game? Purple? Pink. What? 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 You're looking to add some color to your wardrobe. You found the right place. You do you do? Purple. Why are we voting for color? I'm not dyeing anything. I'm just grabbing a new paraglider. Welcome to the Kochi dye shop where we live to die. <laughs> we live to die. Oh man. Just glued the balls together then to the wheel. That feels like it's not a scoop. I think that's just like what I did. If you have any dye ingredients, it's 20 or if you said dye I don't know. includes our service charge, of course. Let's get going and dye your get out too, huh? Hooey, that's a lovely paragliding you got there. Nowadays, not only do we dye clothes, we also offer a fabric rework system. Bring me some fabric and I can rework your paraglider with flying colors. You may be a first-time customer, but that's fine. We have a special introduction to our new service for folks like you. Ta-da, your very own introductory fabric. I don't want your stupid mushroom fabric. <laughs> Gotta go later, everyone. Enjoy the game. Thanks for stopping by, Earthbound. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have you dropped by the Ventus clothing at the village entrance yet? 
Cece, the favorite famous designer who runs the place now, cooked up some cutting edge design on this fabric. Every region has its own unique fabric designs. Keep an eye out for them wherever you go. Think of me if you find some new fabric, won't you? You can rework your paraglider with it for you to fly the skies in color. In style, yeah, whatever. And you can show off your love of mushrooms. I don't have any love of mushrooms. This is your first time reworking a paraglider, is it? Don't worry. I'll do all the work. You just hand over the fabric and leave the rest to me. Lionel fabric. Is that a thing? Horse god? Where did we get the horse god fabric from? CC fabric or we can just do Yiga fabric. Do we do the Yiga? Yes, Lionels have it. Maybe we should wait until we have the Lionel fabric. Probably pony points. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Maybe we should get the Lionel fabric. <clears throat> How do you get Lionel fabric? I'm guessing you kill Lionels, huh? I don't even know where Lionels are. He says what animals to take a photo of so he can make it. So I just gotta go on a photo shoot of Lionels, okay? Tell me more. Love the fact that someone so young is so interested in our unique Hateno dice. Might be Cece's influence, but that kind of thing is catching on quite a bit with young folks these days. I'd be a fool not to seize the dying while it's hot and let everyone know about what we do here. <laughs> let me give you all the colorful details of how the magic works. Hateno dying is a traditional craft in Hateno village. Bring us the right ingredients and we can dye just about anything to whatever color you please. I can also remove color from dyed fabric so your clothes will be restored to their original, if not drab, luster. With our new fabric reworking sur sur service, all you need is a bit of fabric and we can that we can work with. We use it to re-upholster things with nice new fabric, like a paraglider, for example. And the total price is just 20 rupees, no? It's not telling me more. Over. I'm out of here. Where's my house? No, seriously, where was Link's house? It wasn't here. It wasn't there. Or here? I've said this multiple times now. I can't admit three customers at present. Are these the tailors that I saved from the Yu clan? What do you mean? We took the trouble to come here and now you're saying we can't get in? Wanted to see CC's new stuff. It's not every day I make a famous fashion designer debuts new material. Yeah, everything I heard said that there's some of- or everything I heard said this was some of CC's best work. I'm so so sorry, but we only have one entry ticket remaining. One ticket seriously one person could go in. Hey, come on now. You can't just let one of us get a head start. Sure, I know, that was just a joke. Huh, maybe if we come back later they'll have room for all of us. Yeah, it's not like this is the only clothing place in the village. What do you say we kill some time at the dye shop? Oh, we could check out the pasture. Speaking of which, I heard there's a little ways up the road from the pasture is a laboratory specializing in ancient stuff. Mm. So we got all dolled up, we might as well hit the town and see it all. Hi Tazzle, welcome in, how's it going? It's been a minute. Thank goodness they gave up, hmm? Oh, oh my, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. You also a tourist who's come to see my sisters, I mean the new line of CC's products? Like as it's just you, you're free to go into the shop. Cece herself is in there right now, in fact. Nothing you'll see is for sale. It's only an exhi exhibition right now. Sorry to disappoint. But three people can't come in?
What is with their fascination with mushrooms? What? What's it? What's it about? What's what? what what's so special about mushrooms? Another practically perfect masterpiece. It's an exemplar of the form from every angle. This is the sort of thing on which I've built my name and reputation as a world-renowned CC. Hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, pardon me. Are you an admirer here to meet the incomparable CC? What you got against mushrooms? Everything. Hmm, I must say, you don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. Ooh. Welcome to the Ventus Clothing, the only boutique in the world which carries the CC brand. And if you weren't aware, you have the one product. You stand up for the very woman who changed this fu f f f fusty? What do you mean, fusty old village into the birthplace of Nouveau fashion? What the hell? Venting Clothing. Sus! As proof, I present to you this. The Cece hat, the newest and most magnificent work by yours truly, Cece. <laughs> Do you see the luxurious curve? Do you know my... Uh, 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 wouldn't you call this the pinnacle of perfection? This piece is so special that I dare not assign a price to it. It's not for sale. I shall only truly part with it when I find someone truly worthy of owning it. Only the most impressive fashionista in Hyrule's trendiest village is worthy of such a crown. <laughs> What's all this about Hyrule's trendiest village? I don't remember approving any new slogans for Hateno. Oh, look who it is. What can I do for you, oh esteemed Mayor Reed? Really sorry, I'm trying to stop him from coming in like you asked, but anyway, I take no for an answer. Cece, you have got to quit littering the village with your weird art pieces. Maybe you don't realize, but plants need their sleep too. Those eyesores are so bright at night they that they're keeping the veggies awake. It's a real problem for the crops. What the fuck is this guy going on about? <laughs> Hateno's foundation is its produce. What are we going to do if it fails? Now, now, dear. There's no need to get so worked up. I think some of the people here actually like her art, you know? Wouldn't it be better to hear her out? Don't fall in her line of twaddle. She's got everyone in Hateno wrapped around her finger already. Meanwhile, Link in the corner is like, What the hell is going on? I just came here to look at a dumb hat. <laughs> My duty is to look after the village. That's what I mean to do. Looking after the village, you say? Who do you suppose you have to thank for Hateno's rejuvenation? <sighs> it didn't need rejuvenating. Hateno Village is a peaceful place where folks live quiet lives, and that's the way they like it. <laughs> do they? Then let us leave the matter to the people to decide. My avant-garde approach versus the mayor's quaint bygone ways. Wasn't looking after the village very well in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Citizens will decide which outlook will drive the future of the village by holding a mayoral election. How did it go from I won't give this hat to I will only give this hat to the hottest babe around to I want to be mayor? You're calling for a mayoral election? Can we become the mayor? Oh my god, that'd be so funny. Sure, suits me. I'll win them pretty easy. Sophie, I delegate management of the mayoral election to you. What the fuck? What? Me too. Come on, Clavia. I don't feel like sticking around here any longer. So we head back home. Fashionable personnel only. Are you kidding me? Oh, what the frick? There's armor. Did you see that? There's link clothes. Why do you have my measurements? What the hell? There's link clothes in there. Oh my god, this is so messed up. This is so messed up. This is so messed up. I was just trying to find my house. I don't know, man. There was a quest. I'm ignoring it. Dream of owning your own house? Come down to Terrytown in Akala. We'll build it for you just the way you saw it in your dreams. 
finally found where all your Breath of the Wild clothes went. She stole it from me. I'm worth welcoming. Right, the house was over here, right? pictures. The table set for two! Who are these random people, by the way? <laughs> They're cute little pictures. Nice touch. Where's my armor stand where I can just put armor? Zelda's journal. Let's read Zelda's journal table for two. Yeah! Also, it looks like somebody must be coming in and cleaning and changing the flowers and whatnot. Only one bed? Only one pillow, too. How can that be comfy? Why is Zelda's journal in Link's house? They're sharing a house. Yeah! After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild and set out across Hyrule in search of an answer. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities. The damage was far worse than I had imagined. But as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced all was not lost. The answer is more cumulene than you think! <laughs> you mean spicy? Yeah! The people's spirits were not broken. They and their strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild, and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. As part of the Hyrule's reconstruction, we have built a school in Hatano Village. It's, a, it's the largest Hylian village with its sprawling, bountiful land. There are so many children living here that it seems an ideal place to found a school. I've recruited Simon from the Research Institute to teach there. He was Pura's assistant for years, which makes him well equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. <laughs> so true. I'll be overseeing the school for a while myself to keep an eye on the students. I commissioned Bolson, who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson Construction, to construct the school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request. This will be his final job in Hateno Village, where he sets off on a journey. I had him add a secret room to my house, one that won't appear on the plans. It's dim, but humidity and temperature controlled, so it's very comfortable. Oh? It's proven very useful when I'm working alone and need to concentrate. Oh? So at least let's go to the headcanon. Everyone but Zelda believes her and Link are married. <laughs> I've seen that before. It's so funny. I agree. <laughs> Zelda stole Link's house. Why are you ruining our fantasies now? Just let me believe they live together. Work on the school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem recently reared its head. We don't have enough teachers. Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. I like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by the way we shape their path. I hope to see sterling members of our community come to this village and take up that mantle as their teacher. Where's the hidden room, I wonder? Oh, I can just sleep in the bed. I don't need to sleep. Check the well by the house. Okay. Oh, over here? Looks like a little storage shed. Oh! Wowie! It's pretty down here! Why are there so many frogs? <laughs> There's so many frogs! Give me your mind!
Well, we're in worn hairband. An old, worn, simple hairband. Its color has long faded, but it still has some life left in it. Wearing it in your hair makes you sentimental about times past. <laughs> what a cozy little basin to keep someone in. <laughs> Not stole it. Probably wait more like Link was so nice to let me stay here indefinitely. He doesn't even mind sharing his bed with me. <laughs> So true! Wait, I gotta see the hairband. Oh! <laughs> There's Breath of the Wild. Wait, look at these pictures though. It's so cute. Did the children at the school draw these? That's adorable! Read Zelda's diary? Yes! Though the calamity is over, its scars remain. A mountain of problems stands before us even as we begin to rebuild. Link probably drew them. <laughs> Actually, I can, I can see that, but I think it was the kids at the school. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side, a kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. <laughs> That's why I've put in it an order in for a new and improved champion's tunic just for him. I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room so you won't find it until after our investigation. <gasps> We're gonna have to go to Hyrule Castle and grab this. Even he would never expect that the torches are the key. Okay, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. New champion tunic. We got a new side quest. And <laughs> I'm so emotional. She designed him a little adventure. <laughs> Why are they so perfect? Oh my god! And let me go find that school. Oh, that's that building over there. Alright, okay, let's go check out the school. Hehe, <laughs> I'm on the roof. What's here? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? Oh. Seriously? Oops. But you can start the quest for animal fabrics after you redo the glider ones. Okay! Which design should we go for? Uh, let's see. Not, it's not enough for me to just rework with fabric you bring me. I want to dye my hand, or dye my hand at making my own patterns. Just like Ceci, or Cece. Of course, her designs are all original designs. And making fabric from scratch seems like a lot of hard work. That's where Hugh comes in. Could you cast around for some reference material? I could use some inspiration. Inspiration? First, I'm thinking I want to see visuals of that monster they call a choo-choo. That kind of choo-choo is everywhere, even just outside the village, but I'm too pain-hearted to get near them. I think I could... If I could see a regular choo-choo for myself, not a fire choo-choo or a choo-choo. It would help a lot. Okay... Just wants to see a choo-choo. So lightning choo-choo sign. No, it's a regular one. Link's kindness is saved by my hot si <laughs> side has taken a toll on his clothes. Zelda didn't know that her clothes needed fixing. Did she tear his accidentally, maybe? I think it's more of that Link just sort of gets into a lot of fights. And Zelda tends to not get into a lot of fights, I feel. 
Look it, they have training. Start doing chin ups. Is this a little animal shed? Help wanted. Apply to become a teacher. Want to show children the joy of learning? No experience necessary. Inquire at the school for more information. Prospective applicants are welcome to sit in on a lesson. To not redeem. I'm gonna happen. Want the non spicy version? Fine, we can go with that. Salsa pack? Oh, I'm sorry. She's not back. Hello. Yes, yes, what is it? Oh, it's you, Link. Haven't seen you in. Link, you're back! Uh, my apologies for the outburst. C clearly, you're back in town, then. What of Princess Zelda? Oh, Princess Zelda is still missing, which is the reason you came here alone. Shouldn't Link know the fate of Zelda? Y y y shouldn't, shouldn't he say something? The reason you came here alone. That makes more sense. Princess Zelda built this school, you see. She cared so much about the children, I'm sure this would be one of her first stops if she had returned. Right now, we're covering history, which was very important to Princess Zelda. We're focusing on Hyrule's history alongside the Calamity. You know, Link, you're welcome to sit in on a lesson if you'd like. That said, class has ended for today, but I hope to see you here tomorrow morning. Ah. Which one do I read today? Hmm... Oh, there's one called the Champion and their Divine Beast. Let's see, here we go. So the, 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 the Divine Beasts do exist. Divine Beasts were mechanical weapons built 10,000 years ago to fight the Calamity. They were the size of mountains and incredibly strong, meaning that not just anyone was allowed to handle them. Only the champions, specifically chosen representatives of each people, were permitted to control them. Look at there's more drawings here. <laughs> so cute. By their efforts, once the calamity stops, when the calamity returned as foretold a hundred years ago, the divine beasts were seen once again. A new set of champions came forth to use them. Fortunately, the calamity seized control of the divine beasts, and the new champions lost their lives in the process. Aww. Ouch! That's a pretty sad story. When I was little, I heard the Divine Beasts went back into action, so I bet the champion souls are at peace, hmm? Uh -huh. Ah, who are you? Don't think of a uh, me like that! Uh -huh. Who- who wants to know? Is there something wrong with studying in secret, huh? Okay, sorry. My bad. It's bad. Read the student evaluation? Sure! Esther was one of Meta's children. She's a very active girl. I believe we have Meta to thank for that charming bob cut she sports. She loves her father and always wants to talk about his comings and goings. Lately, she's been especially focused on, Highland, on the Highland tomatoes Meta is growing. For a time, she seemed out of sorts after Miss CC brought their house next to the clothing shop. But she was back to her usual bright self soon enough, noting that her new clothing is cute, colorful, and close to froggy. What does that mean? She has a real knack for finding the silver lining in every situation. That's so sweet! Karen is the only daughter of the mayor and his wife. She's kind-hearted but shy and seems to lack self-confidence. She's very perceptive, though. She has a way of seeing right to the core of things. I'm sure you know, Princess, that Mayor Reed has been breeding vegetables to appeal to the younger generation. It was Karen who first noticed that her peers were losing interest in produce. She figured this out based on nothing but the number of customers and total items in stock at the general store. I see her one day becoming a scholar to rival Pura, perhaps even surpassing her. Asu is the brother of Evie from the general store, but he'll tell you his true identity is Azum, the big time hero. He and Safaro used to be inseparable, but ever since the dye shop started getting more clients, Azum has been left to patrol after school alone. Though his mother is a Mira, one of the town gossips, he keeps a close eye on his own on the on on the goings on within the village seems to be like simple child's play, but people really do straighten up when they know they're being watched. 
As long as he's on control, I think we have nothing to fear in Hateno village. Many would be evildoers. Safaro is the son of Sage from the dye shop. He is a bit of a firebrand, but also one of my brightest students. After class, he always selects a book to call it, read quietly by himself. He already reads as an adult level and doesn't shy away from difficult subjects such as the calamity. This family business has been booming ever since Cece came to town, which may make it hard for him to study at home. Sage has an artisan spirit and would rather have his son helping out at store than going to school. But everyone learns differently. I want our school to be a place where children can get an education no matter their needs. I understand you'll be heading soon to Hyrule Castle to investigate the reports of strange phenomena there. I trust you'll be fine with Link at your side. Nevertheless, I can't shake the strange tightness in my chest. Similar to what I felt right before the calamity, come to think of it. The children know you as Miss Zelda, their beloved teacher and mentor. But I know that Princess Zelda's duties are wider ranging than that. Take care, Princess, and return to us soon. Oh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Let me just go up the ladder. I stopped thinking about my- Oh! Bell! Well, I broke that to see if it would work. <laughs> what about Dragon Zelda? Can she talk? I'm not sure she can really teach that well, to be honest. Alrighty, let's go to Gerudo and finally figure out their problem. Finally! I flinched when you hit that bell. Why? Why? Well, I should shut up. Oh, Dark Souls 2 trauma. <laughs> I saw you were playing that today. We're not playing Zelda's little adventure? No, we can go to Hyrule Castle later. Let me fix Gerudo first. Okay. Ow, 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 he's freezing, ow. Reading at an adult level as a child? Good luck, Katie's gonna need it. <laughs> Why? Stalker, Lena. I'm not a stalker, Steam tells you. You should know, I'm probably sure you thought that I was playing a game on Steam today. I've put off the Gerudo problem long enough. We're going to do it. Is that the town? Where's the tower over here? By the way, oh, that's in the sky. So you playing VTube Studio right this minute? That's, that's right. I've played a lot of VTube Studio. <laughs> Over a thousand hours, actually. Is that it? I don't know, I guess. I'll get there. I'm getting there. Did you platinum it and get all the achievements yet? Technically, yes, because there are no achievements. Are you impressed yet? Yes. Good. <clears throat> Clap. Thank you. Okay, that's not the tower. I don't know where the hell the tower is. But I have no clothes. Just realize how the hell am I getting into the town? I 
Ships made partner nor made 3.0 debut, so not all achievements yet. <laughs> True. <laughs> Also, the Oa Oa achievement. That's on you, chat. Really. Honestly, all of that's on you, chat. I'm not taking the blame for any of that. Yeah, that, that one... That one's for you guys. A sliding device. Okay. Uh, yes, I see. Welcome to the Pastel Whoa. Galaxy. Ghost! Thank you so much for the resub and welcome in! How's it going? Hope it's going well for you. One of these is gonna, like, run into me. Nope! Okay, we're good. Just leave stream on all the time so we can accrue points. I'm not going to. More community days or collabs so we can bet points. Um, I'm not going to write bets. Because I don't feel like it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Have you ever seen me do any betting though? Me thinks not. You're a gambler at heart. I've never, like, made anything for betting points. Get over here. Never too late to start betting. I don't know. I just don't even know what I would do. Also, like, Twitch seems to break every time I try to do predictions. A stick on a sled. I'm trying! Okay, I don't see you building these for me. As well, you and stream started and then made dinner. I'm here now. Welcome in! I'll never forget you let me down. Forget what? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Chuckster bit. What about Chuckster? Oh yeah. I failed it. That's right. Oh well. Buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Ooh, that's so yummy. Genius, thank you. Kinda wish they had changed this a little bit in this game. I don't like the mash X mash A X mash X combo. I'm sick of the combo. Gosh, y'all need to stop talking about my and cheese. I'm hungry. Alright, I need clothes. I need clothes to get to Karuto Town, I guess. What's up? Jenny says the desert is dangerous and fully stacked pouch is best defense. By the way, the counter in the back is the front desk for the end. Always is this safe because the guards are careful if you leave it okay. Go get mac and cheese right now. Where? I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to get mac and cheese. Thanks. From your kitchen. I don't have mac and cheese in my kitchen. Okay. 
Okay, what's up here? Is this the gas tower location? I don't think so. Ugh. I don't know where the tower is. But you really can't. Oh, sorry. Other way? Okay. Other, other way. Okay. You have pasta? I have spaghetti noodles. For, like, spaghetti. What's up? You have cheese? Um. Sliced craft cheese? It's like things are normal in Gerudo Town. Huh? Hey, what are you? Listen, this is the lighthouse through the bazaar. Not a tourist destination or a place to play around on? That's it. I guess it's fine now that you're already here. Go ahead and enjoy the view over the desert. I can't see shit. After all, this is the only place in Karakara Bazaar where you can see over the sand shroud. Great. Spaghetti and cheese. Craft. What the frick's wrong with craft? You want to fight about it? Do I, like, fly over it? Is that, like, Gerudo Town? That seems like something. Heck if I know what? Oh, we're fighting now? Okay. Why does a mushroom look funny? Yeah, Link can climb sheer rock faces, but not backwards on a ladder somehow. Yeah, I don't really get it either. Oh god, I can't see anything. Get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. I don't like it here. Ladders are evil, I don't trust them. You trust just sheer rock more than ladders? Okay, what? What? What's going on here? It's just a stone. No matter what I do, I can't put a dent in it. Alright, you know, Bo, it's your turn. Okay. I don't know what to do. I'm lost. What should I use? I don't know. It's close. The others heard me. They definitely chew me out for using slang on duty. My mentor has entrusted me with decorating a weapon in a stylish way. She told me to make it sparkle and that it must radiate burning passion. But I don't know what she's talking about. She's got an allergy to monsters too, so that means monster parts are off limits. I just had a weapon I could use a reference for where to start. That would help a lot. Okay, I gotta give, like, a pretty looking weapon. Not gonna happen. Oops, sorry. Blood moon, time to cook. If I had supplies, I would, but I don't, so I'm not going to. Can I buy this? Why? When the glow of the blood stained moon. I get it. <laughs> Saw one of the latest fashion crazes straight from Gerudo Town. You're after the desert desert bow headband. You've come to the right place. It used to be hard for Vo to get their hands on it. <laughs> Only is what I sell a fashionable choice. It's also great at steaming off the desert heat. Even if you already got one, why settle for just that one when you could get one in a- Okay, that's telling me I can get one for free. Bye. Can't believe you skipped dialogue from Zelda. Is it that surprising? Nice mozzarella, so there's chunks of mozzarella in it. Oh, wow. Alright. 
Okay, I'll try getting on top of that mushroom, I guess. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm lost! go you know what why am i even doing this i have literally ascend okay because ascend doesn't fucking work awesome all right let's try getting on top of the mushroom where is it Air balloons are always the answer. No. No, they're not. It's just a mushroom. Why would you stand on it? I don't fucking know. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, let's go in the well. The well looks sus. Where's the bomb bat when you need it? When I finally needed it, it was gone. Alright. Can I get some rocks? Rocks in here? Any rocks in the club? Rocks? No? Okay. Because I'm underneath a city. Not a city, but a whatever. I'm underneath a place. What can you fuse? What's gonna be strong enough? I can fuse a lot of things. These are just a bunch of leaves? Okay, that doesn't help me. Strong items. Banana sword, no! In your inventory. <sighs> Should I just fuse a fucking dr diamond? I don't know. Diamonds are sharp. I don't want to use it. You want a blunt object. Okay, fine, I'll just use some of my weapons. What about the thing you've got 12 of? I don't know what you're talking about. Here. This should do something. Uh, hopefully. No. No. Fucking kidding me. Uh, this one? No. The frogs part, maybe? Okie dokie. Nope. 
All right, this works. All right, there's a way to go there, a way to go there, a way to go. Ugh. Why are there so many goddamn ways to go? Okay, we're gonna go this way first. Where in the hell is your Nobo? Get over here. You know, Bo! Stop! Stop fighting! Choose wisely. I think it's okay if I don't choose wisely. Okay, I think that's the way to go. Hang on. Okay. Or maybe it's not. Maybe this is the way to go. How can I tell? Okay, what's over here? Don't say cheers in front of Kimi, she'll freeze up like one of those goats. It's true! Okay, we're just gonna go this way. Not more choices, are you fucking kidding me? I hate choices. I'm lost! Okay. I'll take a look-see. Okay, never mind. It doesn't want me to. Sure, whatever. I don't care. Thank you for the redeems. I will take a sip and sit up. And try to regain ugh, some of my motivation. This way is a bus. Let's go over here. No, that's the way I came. Let's go over here. Nope, you know, Bow. I said, you know, Bow. I said. Okay, cool. We didn't find the boss that drops motivation like she was talking about on TikTok. Unfortunately not. I couldn't find it. I'm sorry. Okay. So that led around in a circle. Okay, so was this whole excursion just useless? Can you feed in the TikTokers? I am. Your true form. Hi, Nero. Welcome in. What was that going? <sighs> I'm just tired. This feels sus. 
But it won't let me ascend. Build a platform with what materials? Uh, the problem is not that I'm high, not high enough. It's just that it doesn't want to tell me. Or it just does not want to let me. It's not that I'm not high enough. If I wasn't high enough, it wouldn't show up. This wouldn't show up. Okay, I think I... I think I explored this whole cave. I have no idea. Are we done with the one-way quest cave? What is that? Princess Miss Redeem. I have micro economics. Okay, yeah, I did miss that redeem. I don't know why that didn't show up for me. Great. Alright, I'll be tiny. You know what? Fine. I'll be tiny. I'll just be really tiny. I don't feel like being here anyways. There's people outside looking for someone, and it eventually leads to doing that cave. Well, I looked through that whole cave, and there was nobody in there, so they're probably fine. Giant ch chonky hamster came and flattened Link so hard Link fell into Death Mountain Chasm. Hello! Let's welcome in, Chill Vibes. How's it going? Should I mail key some buffalo chicken mac and cheese? Absolutely. Though I don't know how good it will be by the time I get it. I'll still take it. I'll swarm it up. It'll be fine. Let's go save Zelda. I need to go save Gerudo first. The hell if I know how to do that. Can't even figure out this dumb mushroom. I was like, oh yes! The, 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 the well, that must be it. That makes sense, everything is underground in this game. And then I go underground and I explore and there's nothing. Temperature is getting very high. I don't think I have any coal. Uh, can I? Ah, nope. Uh. Wait, what if I? No, it doesn't help. <laughs> Frozen meat? Uh, let's see. No, it's not helping cooling me down. Confuse ice items? Eat ice cream to counter. I don't, I don't think so. But sure, let's, 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 what, what, what ice items do I fuse? Ice like like stone? Don't you have a frozen meat shield? I do. Link looks like Kimmy in slightly warm weather. It's true. You need Nadra Spike? Welcome, 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 okay. welcome, 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 welcome. Chill vibes! Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome oh, in. Oh, look at that! It did cool me down. That's nice. It didn't help for long. It in fact didn't help at all. What do you mean? Watch this. I have a cool magic trip to show you. Look, it's back to unbearable heat. And I can't see shit. <laughs> Ooh. 
You could cook your ice berries. I'm pretty sure it just turns into dubious food. Wait, I think I might have food for this. Heat resistance. Here we go. I'll be fine. Oh. That's lovely. Well, see y'all later. Time to die. Back in the well we go! Yay! Volcano armor not working in the desert is dumb. They just want more of your money. It's what it is, really. I don't remember which way I'm going. Yeah, I can't see shit. Alright, time to pick a direction and run! Where's your sand seal? Over there! Didn't make quick sand resistant food. How the fuck am I supposed to do that? Alright, which way am I going? Holy shit, I barely made it anywhere. Alright, let's just keep going this way. Where are we going? Hell if I know. I think we're going to Gerudo Town. I don't know how to get there, but... Can we be invisible today or just streaming at our IRL height? Mid? Does this look like the face of somebody who's laughing? It was a redeem! Alright. Fuck is Gerudo Town? Over there? Alright. She is the North Marker now. Oh, I see your coordinates still show up. What's the quick? What's the coordinates for Gerudo Town? So I can get the hell out of here. Hate it here. I hate it here. I hate it here. I hate it here. Oh, I hate it here. I hate it here. I hate it here. What the fuck are those? Those read those? Bye. Alright, back up here. What will I learn? Nothing, probably. Hello, can I get up? Hello? Hello? Let me ascend? Fuck you? Okay. I don't know where I'm going! Well, let me fucking ascend! Alright. Don't be upset. I'm super happy. I'm super happy. I'm super happy. I'm super happy. I would never be upset at this game. I would never be upset at a Nintendo game. I can't see shit, but I shouldn't go that way. That looks like a Maduga or something. Need a microscope to see what face you're making. I assume it's the blank stare of disapproval. When is it not really? I kind of have like the two expressions. I would say happy and upset. And this reminds me of being in the depths, really. It's giving me such nostalgia of being in the depths. It makes me think, wow, this is just like being in the depths.
I'm just like, wow, remember the depths? I bet it's the fucking mushrooms doing this. You can surf for free in the depths. True. Wow. Let me guess. Ascend. Alright! I can see. Where am I going? Over there? Oh, I guess. I don't know where else to go. Tasty mushroom insides. No, I hate mushrooms! Also, I can be regular sized again. Yay! I'm back! Due to unpopular demand. Wait. Okay, now I'm really back. Mushrooms are so good. I disagree, but that's okay. There are people that eat mushrooms. For people like me who hate mushrooms. Macro? Okay. Time to be really big. Hey, what's up? Hey, with the intent of stealing your bananas. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in! Gerudo Town Pog, they're gonna throw me out? Okay. Oh, I don't want that. Where's the shine? Oh, there's still fine. <sighs> Daddy Dorf's hometown. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it, it sure is. You're correct in that. Alright, get up here, Link. Wait, get over here. Why won't it just let me ascend? Why do I have to climb things in this game? <laughs> I climbed things last game. I don't want to anymore. Alright, we got the shine. Yippee! Is it still, like, stupid hot here? No, it's good. Climbing is the best part. I disagree. I actually cannot agree with that. Buried light. Okay. Alright, I'm guessing... Here is my prediction. I got a Luigi's Mansion this place. Sorry. I gotta get it out. Then Luigi's Mansion this place. Breath of the Wild was a wall climbing game. It was. And I'm having to do that again in Hot K. How sick and twisted is that? Awesome. I got a key. That's lovely. I used a key. Even more lovely. You can build hot air balloons instead. Why? I just instantly killed that dude. What the hell are you? What do you do? Nothing?
Alright, I guess I gotta go grab my fan. Wait, am I hitting it? No. Okay. Let's go grab that fan. I think I just left running. Yeah. Good thing boundaries are just infinite in here. In these shines. The only place I ever use batteries anyways. Okay. Okay, let's get this through first. Oh. I thought I was gonna have to crouch down. Never mind. Anything else? Mirror looking thing probably can't reflect if you hold it against the sensor like that. I'm- I'm trying. I don't know what I'm supposed to be reflecting, though. What exactly am I reflecting? My... will to go on? That's not here. Uh, okay, what's up here? <sighs> cool. Alright, there's a fan in here, that's good. Wrong. There we go. Nothing seems to be in there. What about in here? There's another mirror. Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's this? Okay, here's the light. Awesome. Figuring out what we gotta do. We got a light source, now we just gotta mirror stuff. Cool. Awesome. I'm really good at this. As you can tell. I don't know where I'm supposed to be aiming it. There. Where's Medley? I need Medley! How am I supposed to reach that? Oh, can I put this down here? Maybe? Keep falling over it, loser. It doesn't want me to do the puzzle this way. Okay, I get it. Just just say it, Nintendo. Say you're dumb. Okay. 
Wrong. Are we done? Can I leave? Can I just go? Awesome! Let's go! Let's leave! Heck this place. Heck and hated it here. Alright, let's get out. But chest, I don't care. I don't care. We already got a chest, remember? We already got a chest in this. Leave. I am leaving. Where did I- We already got a chest in the shrine. See? There. Remember? We got a chest at the beginning. Did you for gore? It's cold. I'm naked. Why am I not wearing any clothes? Okay, whatever. Alright. We're in the city. Now are they gonna tell me what the issue is here? Or am I gonna immediately get kicked out? No, this is not where I wanna be. Where is everyone? Fuck. It's some buffalo tofu mac and cheese. That sounds yummy. Let's, okay, I accidentally made my headband really small. Whatever. Oh god, everyone's gone! I came all this way for nothing! Oh, okay. There are people down here? Oh. Nothing to report, huh? huh? What, a bone? Did you come here to escape the sand shroud? You've reached the entrance to the Gerudo shelter. Say, I assume they're asleep. They should be awake 24 7! Can I allow any bone to pass through the door? You never heard the word vote means man and Gerudo. The custom really more of a law that we Gerudo follow young Gerudo are generally not allowed to interact with Vo. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? What's going on? Oh. A Vo wandered in here. What did you say, oh. Vo? Nothing to no worry about. The Vo is very short and can't even reach the peephole in the door. He's out of sight and even on his tiptoes he wouldn't be able to see in. Uh. Normally Vo aren't allowed to even set foot within the walls of Gerudo town. This is a unique situation. Yeah. So long as you keep out of the shelter, I'll react your presence in town. You're looking for some place to get out of the sand shroud. You can rest in one of the houses on the surface. But... But how do I continue anything here? I just want to fix your problem! Oh my god. Just let me fix your issues. Ugh. Nobody here. Alright, child. Ink! A bow? I don't want to get caught talking to people I'm not supposed to. Alright, get back to the shelter, quick. Where are you going? Everybody hates me! Oh. Oh! It's time! It's finally time for my stealth! No Nintendo Switch shirt. I don't think it's in this game. Are you gonna move? No? Did I not even have to sneak? I should probably not wear you go. <laughs> let's uh... Let's change back. Whoa! Again? Mommy would be so mad if she saw me talking to you. I gave my week's I gotta get back to the shelter already. How the Gerudo act is how I imagine Key acting when she sees a guy. What do you mean? I'm able to be normal in front of guys? There we go. One, two, hop! 
Okay. In here? What are they learning? What are you, what are you learning? Smooching? Okay, that's not it. Was I wrong? Ah. No. Oh no! Immediately! Are you kidding me? So I gotta figure out how to get close. Ugh. Huh? Why not permitted to be in here? You must leave at once. But I'm a friend. Oh. Hold on. See? I'm a friend! They're learning how to talk to a bow. Just immediately smooch them. It's been some time, swordsman. It's alright. One has the chief's permission to enter. See? He's welcome to visit any of the shops and businesses. Exactly. Boliara. It's, 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 it's Rachel's, um, guard. Spread the word. Let everyone know it. This is the case. Oh. For you to come all this way and during the strange storm that plagues us, you must have some important news to share. Mm -hmm. Princess of Hyrule is still missing? We had heard the events of Hyrule Castle, but this, things are dire indeed. Still starts on, I mean, Link. I am impressed that you made it here through the storm that surrounds Gerudo Town. The sand shroud settled on us some time ago. We sent out patrols to try to determine what was causing it, but... A swarm of monsters, creatures called Gibdos, suddenly appeared, attacking our troops and forced us to retreat. The Gibdos have even made their way into the town. As a result, everyone was evacuated to the shelter for their safety. As someone charged with patrolling Gerudo Town, I am ashamed of our current situation. This is all to say that, although I wish I could help you search for the princess, now is not a good time. I'm sorry, Lady Riju is currently chaining. She is trying to become strong enough to save us from this disaster. If you are hoping to speak with Lady Riju, you should visit the ruins to the north, please. No! <laughs> Wait, is it marked on the map? Awesome. Will I be able to follow my map? Probably not. Alright, this seems like a good place of any to stop. Well, there's not really any good place. I'm just gonna stop. I'm tired. I'm tired. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel the babby trying to escape me. The babby who just wants to complain about every little thing. I need... I need to stop. I need to stop playing. I need to take a deep breath and come back when I don't feel like strangling someone. 12 hour talk case stream. Not gonna happen. Sorry. 12 hour stream's not gonna happen in general. We all, we want the bad beat. No. No, you don't. Finish Take and Dark Souls this week? Not happening. He means jealous of all the tall women around. No, I'm not. So I'm taller than all of them combined, really. If you think about it. This sentence makes sense. I'm tired now. Ugh. This stream. Tiring. I spoke so much. When is this person gonna stop being freaked out? Oh my god, she's like, this is the worst day of my life. There's a man in front of me. <sighs> How tall is she in all of Garden Brinsticks? Like 20,000. Alright, I'm gonna read. We're gonna read. I'm tired. Thank you for coming, everybody. I had a great time. I'm gonna go read fan fiction now. What's for lean cuisine? The link. 
<laughs> but thanks for coming, everybody. I had a great time. I am wiped out. I need to leave. I need to go sleep for like 20 hours. Share the fanfics. Find your own fanfics. They're mine. Yeah, thanks for coming, everybody. I had a great time. I'm gonna see you all when I see you. I'll be back on Thursday for Dark Souls. Probably finishing it. We'll see. Thanks for coming, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye-bye!